Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see what is interval and routing and three available options for enabling interval and routing and how to configure legacy interval and routing and how to configure router on a stick interval and routing and finally how to configure interval and routing using multi-layer switch. Layer 2 switches cannot forward traffic between VLANs without router or layer 3 switch to provide routing services. Inter-VLAN routing is a process of forwarding network traffic from one VLAN to another VLAN using layer 3 device. Without configuring any VLAN, switch can forward data from one PC to another PC. After configuring VLANs in switch, when PC1 from VLAN 10 sends data to VLAN 20, switch will receive the frame but it will not forward it to VLAN 20. In this slide we will see the three available options to enable inter-VLAN routing. The first one is legacy inter-VLAN routing. Next one is router on a stick method. Finally, multi-layer switch. In the legacy inter-VLAN routing, Routers were used to route between VLANs. Each VLAN needs to be connected with one physical interface of router. Packets received from routers one interface will be routed and exit in another interface. Routers interface will be configured with IP address from specific VLAN subnet. For example, in the traditional inter-VLAN routing, connect routers one physical interface with switch for VLAN 10 and connect router's second physical interface with switch for VLAN 20. PC in VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 should be configured with default gateway pointing to router's interface with same subnet. Now router can route packets between subnet 10 and 20. With an interface connected to each subnet, Layer 2 switch can forward frames inside a VLAN while router can route IP packets between subnets and VLANs. When IP packets routed from VLAN 10 PC to VLAN 20 PC, switch will receive the frame and forward it to router's F00 interface. Because PC in VLAN 10 forward its packet to its default gateway that is R1's F00 interface. Then R1 routes the packet out another interface F01 where VLAN 20 resides. Now switch will receive the frame from routers F01 interface and now switch will forward it to VLAN 20 PC. Now let's see how to configure this. First we will configure it in switch CLI. Go to global configuration mode. We will create VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. Now we will assign these VLANs to the switch interface. For interface F01, assign it to VLAN 10. Switch port mode access. This command will change the port to access port. Next, switch port access VLAN 10. This will bind this interface to VLAN 10. Now we will do the same thing for interface F04. Now we have assigned VLAN 10 to F01 and F04 interface. Same way I will assign VLAN 20 for interface F02 and F05. Next we will configure router interface F00 assign the IP address in VLAN 10 subnet. Same way for interface F01 will assign the IP address in VLAN 20 subnet. Now we will check the routing table. Here we have the routes for VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. Here we can see the configurations of VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 PC. Now we will check the PC connectivity between VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. Here it is working successful. 
This legacy inter-VLAN routing has some drawbacks. Large networks with more VLANs requires more router interfaces. As router consumes too many physical interfaces, one per VLAN, it is not scalable, so it is typically not used. Next method is router on a stick. This method uses router to route the traffic between VLANs. This method overcomes the limitation of legacy inter-VLAN inter routing method. Unlike legacy inter-VLAN routing, it only requires one physical interface of router to route the traffic between multiple VLANs on a network. A router's Ethernet interface is configured as an 802.1Q interface so it can understand VLAN tags and it connected to a trunk port on a layer 2 switch. Logical sub-interfaces are created, one sub-interface per VLAN. Each sub-interface is associated with a single physical interface. Each sub-interface is configured with an IP address from the VLAN it represents. VLAN members are configured to use sub-interface as a def default gateway. In legacy inter-VLAN routing, we have used two links between switch and router for two VLANs. But in router on stick, we will use only one link between switch and router. On router's physical interface, we will create two sub-interfaces. For example, FA0 slash 0 0.10 for VLAN 10 and FA0 slash 0 0.20 for VLAN 20. This number doesn't need to match with VLAN number, but it's a good practice to do so. When VLAN 10 sends packet, it uses the link between switch and router, but through virtual interface, and return back in the same link, but through virtual interface. Now let us see how to configure this. First we will configure in switch CLI, go to global configuration mode. Like earlier, we will create VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 and assign these VLANs to the respective switch interface. Assign VLAN 10 to interface F01 and VLAN 20 to interface F02. Finally, one important thing. Earlier we have configured interface F03 as access port that belong to one VLAN. Now we will configure interface F03 as trunk interface so that it can carry multiple VLANs. Next we will configure router. In the physical interface, we need not assign any IP address. We have to give no shutdown command only. So we will give no shutdown command under interface F00. Now we will create sub interface for VLAN 10 FA0 slash 0 0.10. Encapsulation dot one q command enables trunking on the interface. This number should match our VLAN ID. Next assign IP address in subnet of VLAN 10. VLAN 10 host will use this IP address as default gateway. Same way we will create sub interface for VLAN 20, FA0 slash 0 0.20, assign IP address in subnet of VLAN 20 and VLAN 20 host will use this IP address as default gateway. Now we will check the routing table. Here we have the routes for VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. Here we can see the configurations of VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 PC. Now we will check the PC connectivity between VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. Here it is working successful. Finally, this is an acceptable solution for small to medium sized network. Next method is inter-VLAN routing using multi-layer switch. Multi-layer switches can perform layer 2 switching and layer 3 IP routing, replacing the need for dedicated routers. 
layer 2 switching forwards frames inside each VLAN but layer 3 IP routing forwards IP packets between VLANs. Layer 3 switching needs virtual interfaces connected to each VLAN internal to the switch. The layer 3 switch has an IP routing table with connected routes for each VLAN interfaces. These virtual interfaces act like router interfaces with IP address and mask. These interfaces are referred to as switched virtual interfaces. These interfaces exist for VLAN 1 by default. Multi-layer switches support dynamic routing and inter-VLAN routing. Multi-layer switch must use IP routing command to enable IP routing on the switch. Earlier we have used router for legacy inter-VLAN routing and router on a stick method. Now we don't need router to perform inter-VLAN routing. In this method, layer 3 switch will do the inter-VLAN routing. When the packet from one VLAN reaches the layer 3 switch, it will directly route the packet to destination VLAN without the need of router. Now let's see how to configure this. In this topology, in addition to layer 3 switch, I have added one router so that local networks can reach WAN and external networks. So the switch uses a third VLAN, VLAN 30 in this case for the link to router R1. As layer 3 switch itself can perform inter-VLAN routing, I have configured the switch port connecting to router as access port. First we will configure in switch CLI. Go to global configuration mode. We will create VLAN 10, VLAN 20 and VLAN 30. Now we will assign all these VLANs to the switch inter interface. I assign VLAN 10 to interface F0 slash 10. VLAN 20 to interface F0 slash 20. And VLAN 30 to interface F0 slash 1 which is connecting router. Here we can see the output of show VLAN brief command. VLAN 10, 20, 30 is created and these VLANs are assigned to respective interfaces. Here we can see the output of show IP interface brief command. VLAN 1 is already there. That is the default virtual interface for VLAN 1. Now we have to create virtual interface for VLAN 10, 20 and 30. In the global configuration mode, interface VLAN 10 command will create virtual interface for VLAN 10 and assign IP address in VLAN 10 subnet using IP address command. VLAN 10 host will use this IP address as default gateway. Same way we have to create virtual interface and assign IP address for VLAN 20 and VLAN 30. Now here we can see in the output of show IP interface brief command virtual interface for VLAN 10, 20 and 30 is created. Finally use IP routing command to enable IP routing in layer 3 switch. This is very important step. We have configured all configurations. Now it's time to check whether it inter VLAN routing is working. Uh, this is the output of IP config command for VLAN 10 PC. Here we can see the IP address of VLAN 10 PC and its default gateway. Now we will check the connectivity between VLAN 10 PC and its default gateway. Connectivity is there. It is working. Finally, we will check the connectivity between VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 PC. It is working as expected. So far we have seen what is inter-VLAN routing and three options for enabling inter-VLAN routing and how to configure legacy inter-VLAN routing and how to configure router on a stick inter-VLAN routing and finally how to configure inter-VLAN routing using multi-layer switch. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.